Passengers coming into the United States from foreign airports say there is now an extra second level of security. Hand pat downs of passengers on most or all international flights coming into the U.S. are routine, say many of those who arrived at Newark Liberty International Airport in New Jersey on Monday. I had a full body, uh, I was frisked, so. Um, not normal, right? Not normal. Usually that doesn't happen. They separated the line by female and male passengers. They basically take you through and they pat you down. It's almost back to what it was post 9 11. Yeah, they went through the body and looked at the bags again and asked a couple of extra questions. Um, the lines were, I think, a little bit longer than they normally are, and uh, you know, you, you were patted down, but that was about it. Um, and the only difference from normal is that there was another security check where you had to take off your coat, they went through your bag, they did a body check, there was a line for women, a line for men, but it wasn't bad, everybody was very polite. The Obama administration says citizens from 14 nations will be subjected to intense security. Those are Cuba, Iran, Sudan, Syria, Afghanistan, Algeria, Lebanon, Libya, Iraq, Nigeria, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Somalia, and Yemen. Most or all travelers from those countries will be patted down, have their bags searched, and checked for explosive traces, in addition to the regular security. Officials say the intense scrutiny of those coming to the United States from the 14 countries on the list will continue indefinitely. When this family from Iran arrived in Newark on Monday, in addition to pat-downs and other security, they were fingerprinted in Toronto on the way into the U.S. They just like question, ask questions, fingerprinting and this kind of stuff. Yeah. How, how, how did it make you feel? Well, not, actually not very comfortable because it took us an hour like to take to our flight and like we missed our flight when we were coming here. A trade group that represents the airline industry says the intensified searches are a step in the right direction, but that the government must do more. It's not just searching for tweezers in somebody's bag. We need to match this up with intelligence. We need to go after specific people that may be a threat. We need to more efficiently use the, the terrorism watch list that the government has and sharing information with governments around the world. The increased security comes in the wake of the arrest of a man from Nigeria who tried to bomb a flight coming into Detroit. Over the weekend, the report of a man at Newark Liberty who walked into the departure gates without being searched caused massive air delays that rippled across the country. Officials are still trying to find out what happened in that case. Ted Chaffrey, the Associated Press, Newark, New Jersey.